and the Saudi Grand Prix is go. Alonso is going to put pressure on Perez in the opening meters of the Grand Prix. Fernando Alonso takes the lead of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Down goes Perez, but the old lion has roared back to the front of the field. The oldest driver in the field leads. It's Alonso Perez, then it's George Russell in third. There's Debris there being clobbered uh, by Lando Norris further back in the order. That's Alex Albon, who's all over the road in the Williams. Up goes Alonso, down goes Perez. Russell, Sainz and Stroll are where they started. I think the debris might have come from Piastri potentially in the McLaren. Yes, it has. Look, he's missing a bit of front wing there. So Piastri is in the wars from a good starting place. Alonso's made a great start and here comes Lance Stroll. Stroll around the outside. Can he pull off an amazing move? What an opening lap for Aston Martin. That is incredible stuff. He went all the way around the outside to move up to fourth. Stunning. Uh, Stunning. Alonso there with uh, incorrect starting position. Fernando Alonso finds himself with a five second penalty. A procedural mistake with a big consequence. He's the lead car, but he's got a penalty hanging over him. Here comes Perez down the inside to take the lead of the Grand Prix, but he locks up and he's going to give Alonso another opportunity. You do not invite a two-time champion to a further fight and Alonso will be in the fight. Now does he decide to let Perez go as the new race leader or does he have an opportunity to launch one to the inside? Hamilton's under serious pressure and he knows it. We go driver's eye view as Charles Leclerc tries to get past and he opens the steering to leave the room. That is a pass and a half for Charles Leclerc to take eighth place. Let's have some more racing. Hamilton has been warned for driving standards. The black and white flag has been shown to him for weaving on the straight and weave he might, but he can't keep Charles Leclerc behind. The Ferrari driver from 12th on the grid now up to 7th in the Grand Prix. Hamilton, will he defend from his old rival? Can he defend? The answer is no. Through goes Max Verstappen up to eighth place in a different race this weekend to Lewis Hamilton. Charles Leclerc, driver's eye view, wonderful trackside pictures as he eases past the Alpine and he moves up to sixth place. And Max Verstappen sliding past Pierre Gasly, sorry, Esteban Ocon, and, and moving up to sixth position. Lance, stop the car. Lance, stop the car. Stop on track. What effect does this have on his teammate and his uh, five-second penalty? Will this be a full safety car? Will it be virtual? Full safety car deployed. And if you now make your stop under these conditions, you gain enormously compared to those under the green flag. Is there a little puff of white smoke? Is yeah. a, is a, I don't know if that's just the dust as he's gone off the track now, but it looked like there was maybe a slight puff. So in comes the race leader, Verstappen also being called in as well. So Verstappen absolutely now in contention for victory. The stop for the Aston Martin. And they are waiting five seconds before they go to work. And try to push from safety car line one for Hamilton. He just beat it. Xavi, you need to tell me that before. Xavi. No, but come on. If Leclerc had known that that Hamilton was in the pits. He wouldn't have left the big gap for, for Hamilton to emerge in front. Good drop by Sergio Perez. That was a great camera angle to show you that he's got the restart right. And it's Alonso trying to protect from George Russell going into turn one with the late move to defend it. Will he make the corner? Alonso deep in there. He will. Slightly cold tyres out there for the time being. The two Alpines are going to go wheel to wheel. Gasly and Ocon giving each other just about enough room as they're weaving like it's a formation lap to try and generate higher temperature in the hard. Hamilton's got a chance on those medium tyres compared to the hards of Carlos Sainz. Dare he go around the outside? No opportunity this time. Verstappen unable to make an impression on George Russell for third. And all over the back further. But there's Hamilton. Better traction, better launch, fifth place. Sainz defends the pit wall. Lewis goes to the outside, has grip to brake. Sainz was brave on the brakes considering he's on those hards, but he couldn't slow the car down. Clambers over the curve, can't get on the, on the power. And Hamilton says thank you very much. Verstappen might have a chance here. Big slipstream on the other Mercedes of Russell. Easy pass for Max Verstappen to the inside. And he takes third place. He doesn't wait around at all. And in Alonso's wildest dreams, I didn't think he'd be expecting to fight for a podium position. He's trying to make it two in a row, having only scored two in nine years. He checks the mirror and watches Max Verstappen go past. Verstappen up to second place, only his teammate between him and an audacious victory in the second race of the season. 
zero fight there from Fernando, something you very will, rarely will hear people say, but he was just waiting there. It was almost like he was getting out of the way with a blue flag. Oh my God, brake failure. Well, he's not in the wall, Albin. He's still going round and he's in 13th place still. So <laughs> if he's got an issue with his brakes, then now you've got to uh, move over. He's pulling to the side of the road. And Alex Albin electing not to come into the pits, but letting everyone go past. And the driver who was chasing some points here last year before contact with Lance Stroll is tumbling out of contention in 2023. Okay, Logan Sargent under pressure. Now this could be for points later in the Grand Prix. Joe Guan Yu with huge speed around the outside, which turns into the inside line, which turns into 13th place for the Chinese driver who wants to see that back later. Verstappen's just lost a second in the first sector on this lap. The gap's gone over five seconds again. It makes like a weird noise and high speed. OK, understood, Max. We are monitoring now, let you know. Uh, we are happy at the moment, Max. They did something wrong. OK, stand by. Keep going for the moment. DRS open, so that is Yuki Tsunoda staying ahead of Magnussen. Tactical games being played, but they both lock up into turn one. They're both deep. Oh, that's a pass and a half for Kevin Magnussen to take the final point. He's been under pressure throughout. He had to overtake Fernando Alonso after losing the lead at the start, but he comes out of the final corner as the first driver to see the flag for the fifth time in Formula One. Sergio Perez wins. It's Perez on top at the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. It's a Red Bull 1-2, but who's your championship leader? The answer across the line is Max Verstappen, who takes the final lap on the last tour to maintain the championship lead by taking the bonus point for fastest lap. Perez with the win, Verstappen with the championship lead. Oh no, it's a 10 second penalty for Fernando Alonso. Did they wait the right amount of time, failing to serve the penalty correctly? It is 10 seconds and Alonso and Aston Martin will be furious. Fernando Alonso goes off the podium and George Russell is promoted to third place. Wicked job. Wicked. <laughs> Ah, oh, nice job guys, well done, excellent result for the team. Fantastic Checo, absolutely fantastic, um, really, really amazing drive, that last sim was on fire, well done mate. What a moment for Sergio Perez, out of the car and delighted to win one year later, he has finished the job. Sergio Perez! who keeps the win, obviously, uh, having put together a superb drive. Max Verstappen in second place, having climbed 13 places. But George Russell takes third. My thanks to you for watching. We'll see you in Albert Park when Formula One returns.